What's up guys? Clint Chavoin here. And I have a special announcement and a special treat today for you. I'm out here in Colorado, so what a better place to unveil this. If you haven't seen it in person already, this is the prototype for our new signature survival knife that I'm releasing. Okay, it's by Blind Horse Knives. Now let's go ahead and start with the sheath first. So the sheath is a really high quality, just hand stitched, thick leather sheath and it's on a dangler, okay? Which, you know, I never tried the dangling sheath until I got my, uh, my Woodsman from Blind Horse and I absolutely love this, guys. If you wear a knife as much as I do, sorry, I'm being rude, let me take these glasses off. <clears throat> so, if you wear a knife as much as I do and use a knife as much as I do, it's probably always on your hip and getting in and out of the car, even though I'm left-handed, I wear it on my right side, and getting in and out of the car is awesome with this. It'll either just fold up under your butt or it'll just flop out of the way so you can get your seatbelt on. So I actually really, really like the dangler. So my knife's gonna come with that because this knife is about what I think is the best knife, okay? Now, that being said, there's also a ferro rod loop in it. You can see there's a ferro rod loop which is a must for anyone in bushcrafting or any hunters or anything like that. Okay, so there's the sheath. Now the knife. Now, when I go with a knife, I like a knife I can work with. I don't like a big senseless knife that's made for stabbing people, okay? I would consider this a medium-sized bushcrafter or just a medium-sized wilderness survival knife. It's full tang. It's gonna be D2 steel. Okay, natural micarta grips for now. Uh, we're talking about maybe doing some limited releases and things like that. Okay, um, it's a really nice size. It fits in your hand perfectly. It fits in my hand, okay? I don't believe in the one tool option. I believe that any knife should be a knife. It should not be in place of an ax or anything like that. So if you carry that, maybe you carry a tomahawk like this two hawks I did a review on earlier, okay? but. I want a knife that could also, in a pinch, be used as a one-tool option, and this knife has just enough length on it that you can, you can baton some serious firewood, you know? And it isn't going to baton like a huge knife, but this is a knife that would accompany a Wetterling's axe or a fold saw or something of that nature. But make no mistake about it, this knife could easily be used as a one-tool option. I just don't buy into the one-tool option. I never have, okay? Now a little cool feature I put in this is... No one likes to have to make more bow drill kit accessories, right? So, this is your bearing block. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to block the sun out. But right in here, I've got the little bearing block divot, okay? And it works great. And I've got it set up for a right-handed person. I'm left-handed, but I bow drill like a right-handed person, okay? And I'll try to demonstrate here. You know, you go around. And so, when you're up against your leg, your blade faces away from you and out this way, okay? So it's completely safe, and it's smoother than anything I've ever used for a bearing block, even a stone. So that's a really cool feature, and I exclusively use this knife handle for my bow drills now, which, you know, I do 20 or 30 a week with courses. Okay, so again, this knife is through Blind Horse Knives. We're getting ready to go into production this week. Um, when I get a price point and a release date, I will let you guys know. I just wanted to give you the first look at it, okay? So any questions, comments, anything like that, let me know. Um, I'm not gonna put my name on a piece of crap, okay? So I've been beating up, I have three prototypes, different steels, different grips, and I've been hitting on them for about three or four weeks now. So that being said, you know, I, I don't wanna put out anything with my name on it that I wouldn't put my life on. And this knife is blowing me away. You know, I had the opportunity to literally sit down and choose whatever I wanted to put into a knife, which is a dream come true. It really is. And uh, everyone at Blind Horse has been super awesome to uh, allow me to have this opportunity to work with them. And I just, I really think you guys are going to be pleased with this knife. Um, if you ever see me around, I'd be more than happy to let you beat on this knife. 